want to get to our top story this morning, though. This isn't about the eclipse. You may have seen several storms hit parts of Arkansas last night, maybe where you live, but it's now leaving behind some damage, especially in Scott. Yeah, that's right. Dorothea Wilson joins us live there this morning with a look at some of that damage. Good morning, Dorothea. Hi, good morning, Claire. Yes, what an awful sight here. Now that we have a little bit more daylight, you can actually see just how scattered all of the contents of this trailer here have all over the ground. Now, unfortunately, it was a devastating way to wake up after the beauty of the eclipse. We see the storm really rummage through this trailer here. You can see the in, the um, contents, excuse me, of the trailer just all over the ground here. There's shed right here over to my right. You can see that the top of that shed has been removed moved from some of the storm damages. A lot of contents, just debris, tree branches all over the ground. And I did confirm with Intergy, I saw one of the trucks pass by and I, I stopped the gentleman there and asked him about the power outages. And he did confirm that a little bit further back here in this Scott, Arkansas area, and actually we're on the corner here of Burns and Craig, a little bit further down, there was some power outages and they're still working to get the power back up. So some people are waking up to no power this morning. So that's really unfortunate. But again, you can see the contents of this trailer that is really blown away. Also to my right here, a little bit further right, you can see a house back there. Now it looks like it may have already been abandoned, but you can see some of the roof and some debris from that particular house really, really rummaged through from the storm. So lots of damage, lots of things need to be recovered. Lots of things need to be repaired. And I'm hoping that the weather gets a little bit better to give people more freedom to be able to go back and repair and get some cleanup done. It's a little windy and rainy right now, so maybe that can delay it a little bit, but definitely there's a lot of work to be done. Again, that is the most updated information. There were some power outages introduced, working to get the power back restored, and there's a lot of cleanup work to be done. Back to you.